Today's video is going to be a life hack slash tips and tricks for school. I wanted to do this now because I feel like YouTube community does such an amazing job of doing a ton of videos for back to school. But I feel like the hardest part of the school year is actually right now. We are all just working like crazy so we can be done and enjoy the summertime. I'm going to show you a mix of like weird life hacks, normal life hacks, just tips, tricks, and general things that help me with school. If you're new, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It'll just let you know when I post my next video. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the video and let's get to it. So my first tip is to help you with homework and note taking. If you're ever working on your laptop and let's say you have like a handout that your teacher has given you and you have to take notes from it, one of my least favorite things to do is when I'm typing something and then I'm trying to like look over here to like take notes. It's so annoying. You can take like one of those pants clothes hangers and clip one part of it to the top of your laptop and the other part to like the piece of paper and then you have it right next to your computer so you can be looking back and forth really easily and not get distracted. My next tip for you is if you have lost focus in class, there have been so many times where I'm totally guilty of daydreaming and then I get called on by a teacher and I have no idea that it's happened or even worse, if you're giving a speech or presentation and you completely blank on what you're talking about, your water bottle is your best friend. As long as you have water in class, it'll buy you a few extra seconds to kind of get your thoughts together. So if they call on you and you don't know the answer, take a sip of your water. And the same thing goes for giving a presentation go grab a sip of water and it'll buy you a little extra time. This one's kind of weird but it made me laugh. If you've ever gotten a paper cut and I always picture that scene from Twilight when Bella gets the paper cut and she's like oh my god and Edward's like I'm really hungry. Basically if you ever get a paper cut in school what you can do is actually apply chapstick to it and this will help like stop it being crazy painful. So yeah. So the biggest struggle that I have with school is getting through reading assignments. I was talking to my mom about it because she's a teacher and she recommended that I try when I'm like reading for school to also be listening to an audio version of what I'm reading. Kind of helps you stay on task when you're reading. For this hack, I use Audible, which I'm sure you guys have heard before, but in case you haven't, they're the leading provider of audiobooks. They have like over 180,000 different titles, and they have like fiction, nonfiction, basically whatever you can think of. They also have really fun books like Harry Potter. I think another important thing about this is that you don't want to waste your time reading through something and not understand it, so a lot of times hearing it as well can really help make sure that you're actually understanding the material. So I'm going to have them linked right here and down below if you guys want to check them out. The link is audible.com slash HaleyW and they're offering a 30 day free trial for you guys. Again, it's audible.com slash HaleyW. just want to say thank you so much to Audible for supporting my channel and yeah. Okay, so this hack is if your school doesn't let you carry a backpack between classes, you can actually turn your sweatshirt into kind of like a backpack. What you do is you set it out flat and then fold the bottom piece over your books or whatever you're carrying and then take the hood and tuck it around that. Then you just flip it over and use the sleeves of your sweatshirt to make kind of like a shoulder strap. Just don't put anything super expensive in here because it can come undone but it does work pretty well to hold books. Next tip is kind of a weird hack on how to recycle a binder. I think we've all seen like those really awful like banged up binders at the end of the school year. If you have like a really destroyed binder, you can actually take out that middle like metal part with the rings and you can recycle this and use it as like a coat hanger. So you can put magnets on the back and then stick it to your lockers and you can hang your keys from it or your coat or whatever and instead of throwing out the binder, you can actually still use this piece. So I think it's really cool and kind of helpful for school. So my next study tip for you, and this is so important it may seem obvious study away from your bed my brother does this all the time studies in bed and like an hour later I'll see him passed out so much easier to fall asleep during a late night if you're already in bed I think it's a really important while you're in school you have some sort of desk space or even kitchen table just somewhere bright and clean that you can work don't study at your bed you're gonna fall asleep so this last tip I think again more for college students because I feel like you're kind of giving out your email a lot you can actually set your email address as a shortcut in your keyboards. I have mine that says like email one and whenever I type that it'll automatically change over to my actual email address. So this is kind of like a lazy life hack but you know if you're handing out your email a lot for school this is a really quick way to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or tips you want to leave down below be sure to do so and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!